everybody, J.M. Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym. I'm here with IFBB Bikini Pro. Alessia Fakin. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, or? Good afternoon, yes, <laughs> yes. because right now it's not more morning, so good afternoon. Yes. All right, so Alessia, uh, we want to get people to know you a little bit better. Give us a little background on yourself. How long have you been competing? Where are you actually from? Uh, we know Italy, but give us a little background so people can understand a little more. Uh, I'm from Italy, so I live near Venice. It's uh, like six uh, years that I compete, uh, like competitors, I mean. And uh, this year I have taken my dreams to, to take qualification for Olympia. I'm pro from 2017 because uh, I have won a show in the last federation and then uh, I have won also the show in San Marino. And uh, JM have given me the contract in uh, San Marino also, so it was my uh, big dream there. Yeah, it was our very first uh, IFBB Pro League uh, Pro Show. Yeah, of course, and, in San Marino. Uh, and qualifier in San Marino, and uh, Tyler and I came over. Yeah. And uh, we, we actually met you at breakfast, right? Exactly. In the yeah. breakfast, I have signed my contract, my first contract uh, to become pro athletes. And from then, I have competed for one year. Last year, all the years I have competed because I love compete. So for me, it's a uh, little crazy life, but uh, I love compete a lot. Uh, this year, I have competed for 19 shows, and um, at, um, at the end of the year, in October, I have taken qualification for Olympia 2020. So Now, if you didn't catch what she said, she actually said 19, one, nine. That's how many contests you competed in, right? Yeah, 19. Yeah. And uh, I have taken qualification, what I say. Yeah, but, but I just want, because people might think, oh, she didn't say 19. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, she actually because committed Because my English 19. is not so good, so yeah, I think it's Well, no, I just, that's why I want people to realize wrong. that is exactly what you said. You yeah, 19 19 contests. IFBB Pro contests. Yeah, at, uh, at the end of the year, I have the qualification finally for my big dream Olympia next year, so I will be there. And, uh, so in 2020, you're going to take it slower, right? Yeah, next year I will, I promise, I'm be less crazy and I will compete <laughs> just in three, four shows and then I take break for the Olympia. I will try to, to give the best package, the best physique for the Olympia, so my body needs the rest for the Olympia. Right. Now, how did you get into training? Were you an athlete before? Did you play any sports? What made you want to do all this? Uh, before being athletes, I was model. So I have always worked with my body because uh, I have always loved my body. So I was model. I have uh, worked in TV. But um, from when I was uh, 16, I have always trained. So it's like 10 years that I go to the gym. Before become athletes, I was normal, but uh, with uh, training every day and eating clean. So it's my lifestyle is be part of me. So what? So what? 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 You said you were training, you were doing stuff while you were modeling. What made you say, "Hey, I'm going to go to the gym and I want to become a, I want to become a professional bikini competitor." In real, it start for joke because I was model and uh, I have decided to try to uh, train more professionals, so not go in the gym just for training and take care of my body and be tonic. I have decided to try to become more muscular and I have trained more harder and put uh, more um, stuff, more um, step. So I have decided to become more muscular, more tonic, and I have decided to try for joke one competition, and I have win that competition. <laughs> and after that, I have decided to close with model and start to become athlete. So I have compete, and from 2015, I have uh, compete, uh, compete, 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 and this is my life. Now, when you first started, did you? Uh, there, look at magazines, did you look on YouTube, did you, or did you have a trainer, did you have people in the gym, anybody to help you, or were you doing it on your own, trial um, and error? Say again. I said, who taught you? Did you teach yourself? 
No, I have trainer. My trainer is Ricardo Panain. I love from, him. From, from the beginning? Uh, no, I have changed three coach because my first coach was my one coach from Italy. He have completely changed me. He have helped me so much. So I'm grateful for that to him. But after that, he have decided to close uh, with uh, the um, lifestyle of competitors. So I have changed coach. And uh, I have changed with uh, Kimodo. I love him like person. He is very good person, but uh, I have lost motivation after a um, li little small month. So I have to change again with uh, my actual coach, is Ricardo Panain, until January. So it's like one year that I'm with him, and I love him because he worked very good with me. He is very good person. He's genuine. So I'm. I'm very good with him and um. yeah so I mean you you train coaches but it's it's more like like you were saying uh, you want to learn from different people yeah exactly it, it's nothing personal no as nothing I say it's just, it's just business because, right yeah, exactly when you change coach the mostly important and is not close with the person um, with uh, bad things or something like that it's just because Sometimes it happens that uh, you can fight with person, but you have always to try to change uh, for find more motivation, find uh, more way for improve, no for um, different way. Yeah, I think a lot of people that they play sports, different sports, whether it be, you know, yeah, soccer different. or different things or uh, whatever it be, is that they go through different coaches a lot. Yeah. To exactly. learn, learn. You learn something different from everybody. Exactly. You, you take from the first person to the to maybe the second, and then from them exactly. to the next one, and you get and you get more knowledge that way, right? Yeah, but every person have different ideas about training, about uh, diet. So you can learn from everybody. The most important is uh, stay always uh, clean with everybody. So you have to be humble, clean, and good person with everybody. This is the most important thing, I, I think, personally. Right. So now you're looking at the future. You're going to do less contests. Yeah. Not course. 19 in a, no, in, in a season. I promise. No, 19. Okay. What do you think is going to happen? Your body is not going to know what to do. It's going to have a nice rest. My body, I think, will say, thank you, God. <laughs> But um, I will try to compete uh, at the start of the year, um, one, two contests, and then a little bit later, one more contest. I won't try um, important contests, uh, and I won't try to go in front uh, of the judge and see the feedback, and then uh, take the feedback for improve the body for Olympia, give the body the good rest uh, that he needs. No, no, and I'm not just saying this because we're here. I'm not just saying this because he's my son, but you said that Tyler gave you a lot of good feedback. Of course, yes. As to eventually you got your Olympia qualifications. Give us exactly. a little insight as to what you had to do or what he suggested in different things. Yeah, and why it's important to actually listen to the judges. Yeah, that's why. The most important things after the show, some people after the show go away very very sad or uh, of course not happy because they are not placed in top five, but it can happen because um, your body not all time will be on shape so you have to go to the judge after the competition or maybe text them because after competition you know the judge are tired after all the day in front of all competitors so ask them what uh, they have say in you that was not good and ask them what you can do for improve and follow the line of the judge for example to me after tampa i have asked to tyler uh, what was wrong and uh, what uh, I have to improve, had to improve. So he said me to have more smaller back and have less tight legs and glutes. So I have working, I have taken a little bit break and I have stopped compete for a little bit. I have tried this adjustment in my body. I have worked with my coach. I have um, put my back smaller and my glutes more fuller, less striation. And I have decided to come again in front of him, and I have received a good feedback from him. So it has made me very happy because for me it was very important. And I have called my coach crying. You know, my, uh, Tyler gave me good feedback, so for me it was very important the feedback from Tyler. Yeah.
Yeah, and that, and that could be for any judge that you talk to, yeah, correct? Yeah, all judges, yeah. all judges, because after competition it's very important, go to the head judge and ask them the feedback, because if you follow what judges say, you know you will be good, because they judge you, they want a different look, and if you follow the line, you will be good. Good. And happy also. And, and you were surprised, you didn't realize that he was going to be here today, right? Yeah, I was surprised about that because in the gym I find him, Jim, so very, very good journey today. Also, Deborah is an amazing person. Yeah, so this is her first time in Pittsburgh and she said she will be back though, right? Of course, I will be back in Pittsburgh, I will compete in Pittsburgh and I hope to come back again for a new photo shooting and yeah. something like that. All right, so is there anybody else that you want to give a shout out to, a special mention or anything like that? I mean, we've talked about Ricardo and uh, anybody else? Uh, my sponsor, Yamamoto Nutrition, that for me is very important because they support me in all competition. And my sponsor of bikinis, that today have given me the bikinis, Sweet You Swimwear, and the Proton Tanning, that today have given me the tanning for put a little bit color in my skin because Proton always have sponsored me and it's amazing. That so you're saying for the photo shoot and the video shoot, you would have looked like this if it wasn't for the Proton? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look like very white and I look like ghost if I not put some proton. <laughs> so proton have saved my life. So so because Halloween's over, we don't need ghosts. Halloween right? is over now. It's Christmas. <laughs> so. Or I look like um, how is it in English? Rena the, um, the a clown. A clown. No, the the Christmas. Uh, oh oh, Santa Claus. Yeah exactly. Santa Claus. So, okay. Or like, white like skin. So. <laughs> It's better like that. All right. So if people want to follow you on social media, where can they follow you? Uh, Alessia Point Fakin, uh, IFBB Pro. So I, I am in Instagram like that. So the people can follow me. All right. Well, this is Jay Mannion. Alessia Fakin. And we are signing out for NPCNewsOnline.com.